that if we're going to anthropomorphize God or we're going to deify another prophet that's coming in the next sort of two days, Jesus is coming, yeah? We need to substantiate or that person needs to substantiate a claim which is beyond the original base point, correct? Yes. Do you argue he has miracles because of Christ Christ before? No, 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 because, because Jesus didn't necessarily contradict the, uh, the Old Testament or the religious tradition of Moses, did he not? Well, he, he, sh he shows that he is the son of God, he was of God, and so I consider him as being so here's, part here's of the a Trinity. Problem. Here's the problem, right? Basically now, in your insistence on superimposing a belief of Jesus, deifying him, and also anthropomorphizing God, you are now going to wreck the argument which you established yourself several minutes ago, which is that God's revelation chronologically is quite consistent throughout all major world religious views. And there's a lot of overlaps and ultimately, you know, they all kind of converge on common ground. But you're going to wreck that. You're going to wreck that on your insistence on these, this world view. Uh, I, I, I am insisting that un under my Bible-based interpretation of yeah. Jesus, Son you're of making God, a classical absolutely. mistake. With respect, um, uh, uh, sure. Max, you're making a classical mistake. Like three you're three you're actually um, having a confirmation three bias. So you, you've got a, 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 a worldview, and you're trying to um, basically, oh, you've got a view of Jesus, and and now you're trying to substantiate evidence to back that claim up. And it's inconsistent logically, it's inconsistent chronologically, and it's inconsistent from the way the majesty in which God revealed world religions, made a world religions. It doesn't make sense. Can, 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 I, can, I, can I even use, arguably, you can use other, sense, other, God, wo other God, is, God is not the author of confusion. Can, can I use other world religions? Yeah. Um, I.e. by that, I assume you mean verses in the Torah, because the, the Quran, the Quran, because the Torah is essentially the same. Can I really use verses from the Quran in interpreting the Bible? I would say no. Okay, can you, why not? Why would you stop there? <laughs> that natural evolution of the way that God decided to really reveal revelation. Are you saying that is Islam is a false religion? This or are you saying uh, Judaism is a false religion and Christianity is, is the only correct friend. religion? See, our, 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 our position, shall I tell you, our position is, I feel so comfortable being a Muslim because I don't for one minute discredit Jesus, Moses, all of them, I believe in all of them. But you isn't can't that much, tell me that he's isn't a Isn't that a much safer place to be though? from my point of view, that I give credence and I give credit uh, to the esteemed position of these world religions and their respective prophets. Isn't that a better position to be in rather than stopping one choice? Okay, so your, your position here is based on logic, but how logically can simply being a happy medium, as is how I feel you're saying it, somehow confirm something why, why is it that people should generally you you know look right in your heart of hearts yeah religion aside for a minute yeah you know that there's good right in all world religions yeah you know in your heart of heart yeah that god has told us to be good to, to do the basics yeah the ten commandments yeah and those 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 truths yeah are there in all the major world religions and and, and from my point of view if we go along with it chronologically and we can give credence and respect to every single one of those prophets. The safest position to be in is to, to look back and say, you know what, they were all true. They were all revelations of God. That is so much more You know what that means? You need to read up on the Quran. You need to read up on Prophet Muhammad. Uh, uh, I, I, to understand. I've, I've been trying and, I've only, and I'm only just getting through the New Testament. Believe me, I'm trying to study it. So when you read the Quran, you'll be surprised. It addresses the Jews and the Christians as well as Muslims and people in, in, in general. I, I understand that. Yeah. I've generally gathered that. Yeah. And then it addresses for a reason because there have been a lot of misconceptions and you know erroneous ideas that has crept in within the history uh, prior to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the prophet, right? About the nature of who God is and about the personhood of Jesus Christ. And the Quran clarifies his position, who he is, because the only per the only being that can correct the mistakes of Jesus Christ, it will be from God Himself, saying, "Look, this is what happened in history." Did, sorry, did you just say the mistakes of Jesus Christ? The mistakes about his personhood, 
by the people. People, you see, but historical. You know, you know what happened historically. People historical loved Jesus so much they tried to elevate him, and that elevation didn't stop until they deified him. Well. Uh, my worldview is Christianity, which says that it is right that he is to be deified because he is of God. Did he worship his God? Yes. yes. So, so now, if he worships a God and tells people to worship that God only, where is his position in this deity ship? He's part of the Trinity. So now you believe more than one person within God, which is not a teaching that God has given to any of the prophets in the past. Listen, look, you don't have to stop being a Christian, yeah? Is what we're saying, right? In that sense, yeah? Right, we're just saying, we're, we're merely advocating, it's a, it's a cleaner version. Uh, of, 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 of Jesus' esteemed position and status uh, as, a, as a prophet of God. It's a much cleaner understanding of God as well. If, if, if we are making, if we are judging a religion by how clean it is and how consistent it is, yeah. then we are denying, rests, then are we denying? better in your heart. You know why? Because God is not the author of confusion. We are. Human beings are, yeah. And and if you if, if it doesn't rest do well that. with you, uh, uh, Max, yeah, then God is creating that moral compass and that uh, and that, that that rationale inside you as a as a mechanism of understanding these things, yeah. And if it doesn't rest well, and you're trying to force it to rest well with you, then you're doing something wrong. But it's contradictory if, to the way, if we the way judge, that God's created If we you. judge our religion by what seems nice and not to be frayed around the edges, then are we denying? the unknowable nature and plans of God with om omnipotency, omniscience and all mercifulness. It's a good question. It's a good, it's a good question. So we, we can... Because if, for example, you work for uh, now the London Cyber Security Centre, you have full information about what people do on a daily basis. And therefore, you do have a certain level of omniscience. Oh. Perhaps no, not omnipotency. There's a lot of laws we need to trash out into the garbage <laughs> before we achieve that. But at least free speech is free now free. still free. Oh, hu 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 humanity can never have true omnipotence. I mean, if yeah, that's what you're we could have roughly in No, no, oh, they're, 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 can we really have omnipotence? I'm, I'm sorry to come at this from a scientific point of view, um, but, but but if if we look at if we look at say, but but if, if you're talking about omniscience from a scientific view and from studying and observation, quantum physics. <laughs> okay. okay. How can we how um, can yeah, we truly argue is, omniscience? Is, yeah, because there's a lot of unpredictability and it cannot be controlled. Fine. There's unknowability. Okay, so listen, Max. Let, let, but, 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 just, we're on this we point, and it's a, it's a very important scale. It's a very important point, Max. Yeah. yeah. Ultimately, one thing that we can know and that we can logicalize, and God has permitted us to understand using our rationale, and He's given us that ability within us to do that, is the mo uh, the monotheistic understanding of Himself. Oh yeah, I, that, I, that bit He has. I, I, that bit He I, has. I am a monotheist. Yeah. I, I am anything, a monotheist, and I have that to do with matters of faith. No, 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 Max, uh, anything beyond that, beyond, beyond mat like matters of faith, the existence of angels, hell, heaven, uh, uh, destiny, all these things, yes, I agree with you, that then that, that they're not, we can't necessarily logicalize them. It's, it, it's a fair What's point, yeah, we can't understand those things. What's Max Moore correct about Darwin? Um, yeah, let's go. Okay, uh, yep, let's go. <laughs> okay. All right, Max, we're going to go, man. Good luck, yeah. Good luck. Nice to look into you. Um, Make sure you continue, Make sure you continue yeah, reading the Quran, yeah. right? Carry on with yeah, the evolution uh, we talked about, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to get. Okay. I'm going to try to get through the Old Testament.